हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन योर लाइफ माय सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी व्हाट इज डीबगर इंस्टेड ऑफ डीबगर वी आर गोना सी हाउ टू डीबग आवर ओन कोड दैट वी राइट इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग दिस डीबग टूल वी कैन कॉल इट टूल और द प्रैक्टिस टू डीबग और फाइंड द एरर्स वेयर 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 एवर देयर इज एनी कोड बग इन द uh code right so whenever you are like uh, whenever you are working with long code files which might be 60 70 000 lines of code so if you want to find the error in that particular file so how to do that so that for that we have a very good uh, debugger tool actually or uh, we can say it is uh, known as by the name debugger so let us see first of all how to use that thing and what is the real case use of that particular debugger okay so let me give you one example and for that i am right now in my index.html file that i have created right and i am just uh, importing my html boilerplate code inside this i am writing one script tag let's say we have a question like this that we have to print uh, five stars in horizontal manner okay so for that i am simply gonna create one function star and let's say uh we are using for loop for doing this so let i is equal to 0 i less than 5 and a plus plus correct so uh let's say we are uh document dot, we are using this uh syntax document dot write for printing our star and bracket we will simply pass out this thing document dot write and star right simply i am saving this thing let us try to open this thing with live server and still i am not able to get something okay my my page is blank let's see uh, if there is any error in my sources so you can see in sources where is the where is this index okay here is our index.html and it is not showing any kind of error to us okay so first of all can we do something first of all let us go to code and see what is the error manually so if you are uh, if you can see guys that i haven't invoke my function and without invoking it will not work for invoking a function let's say if, if we are clicking on any button then at that moment we can invoke this function by calling on click function or simply or simply if i want to invoke it i can invoke it as soon as our page loads from here itself so let us see yes right now i am getting uh, stars on my chrome file if you can if you are able to see guys right i am getting star on my chrome page okay so how how is this happening first of all let's see how this code is working okay so for, for that let us uh, do one thing let us jump on to our wide world first of all let me give you a small idea about my, how my code is working so i have used one for loop for that and i am running my for loop from 0 till 5 right so if you are like uh, used to with this for loops you might be think uh, you might have guessed that this for loop will run for 5 times from 0 till 4 right so and simply i am returning here that document dot write so it will write what star on my screen okay so it's it's a very uh, simple idea behind this and right now how to use debugger uh in this particular scenario so for that see what i'm going to do is let's say first of all uh, i'm storing this by in uh, any of the variable let's say i'm storing it i'm storing that thing in my num variable okay and simply i'm writing num over here and after after this uh, num let's type out debugger over here we are calling debugger here and we are simply what we are doing this simply saving this thing correct so first of all uh, let us uh, go back to our document right now okay so right now it is just refreshing and refreshing uh, again and again okay so if we are going back to our console you can see that my debugger has stopped uh, my particular code okay you can see here my debugger is attached uh, over here if you can see let me just uh, elaborate this thing to you guys 
okay so you can see that in my uh, sources folder in my sources folder of this chrome developer tools you can see that here is a debugger okay and it has stopped it has stopped my uh, working of this particular html file okay so here my debugger right now is attached okay and you can see that uh, my num is uh, getting allocated the value of 5 over here in local scope you can see this thing right and as soon as i click on this particular option okay this is step over to function uh, next function call okay so this is very simple thing if i click over here you can see that okay so right now i am step over to the for loop as you can see this green line right in in green like what i am getting that my i is undefined at this current position okay so we are going to talk about this that how uh, how this uh, javascript program works whenever a uh, new program is been executed how the global stack is created how the call stacks are created how this global execution stack works and all that thing we are going to see but right now just focus like how how my debugger is working how it is giving me the uh, output on the basis of uh, each and every line so let's say i'm clicking on this next time let's say right now my i value is zero correct i'm going on next thing you can see it is going on this line number 26 like 16 document dot right in the very next step it is going to print one star if you are able to see on the uh, left side of my screen it is giving me one star okay and after uh, giving one star it is right now on what i equal to zero my current state of i is equal to zero right and right now you can see that it is on i plus plus so after every iteration it is going to increase the value of i you can see over here if i click on uh, next step what it is giving me you can see that it is checking for this condition what that i is less than m or num or not if it is okay then it is going again going back to the document dot right right now my i's value is one you can see over here right let's go to next step again and yes i am getting my second star printed over here with i is equal to one value right now and right now it is going to incre increase the value of i again if i show you in the next step see my i's value is two and right now it is going to compare my two value with num there my two is less than num that is five and it is right so that's why it is going to the next condition document dot right it will print the third star okay so in this way this debugger work and we can attach this debugger wherever we want in our uh, javascript code right so in this way we can uh, attach our debugger code to our javascript files and and we can see how this uh, code is working so i have i have covered debugger uh, in a short manner but in an efficient manner so we are going to see the detailing of how this javascript uh, javascript code works in our playlist videos so if you are not updated with the web development playlist just go check on to our tape town channel if you are new to the channel then do subscribe to the channel and you are going to see the amazing amazing content on web development and other technologies as well i hope you guys have enjoyed the videos i will see you guys in the next video until then goodbye